few more days to release Windows 11 officially. You may wonder how to upgrade your Windows 10 device to Windows 11. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11, using Windows 11 ISO file, DVD or with the Windows updates. Also, I'll show you how to downgrade or revert to Windows 10 just in case if you do not like the new OS or you just miss the old OS. First, we shall see how to upgrade using a Windows 11 ISO file or a Windows 11 DVD. You can download the official Windows 11 ISO file from the Windows Insider website. Please go through my video, Microsoft releases Windows 11 ISO for the first time, for more information on how to download the official Windows 11 ISO from Insider program. You can burn the downloaded ISO to a DVD or a pen drive if you need to clean install the Windows 11. I am opening the downloaded ISO file and run the setup.x file. Similarly, if you already burned the ISO file to a DVD or a pen drive, you could insert your DVD pen drive to your PC and open the drive and run the setup.x file. It will take some time to prepare for the installation. Once it is completed, the Windows 11 setup window will appear. You can download any updates if available, using the Change How Setup Download Updates option. Or you can do it once the OS is installed, using Windows Update. I am not going to download updates now. It may take some time to check your PC for installation. Once the checking is completed, you should accept the license terms to continue. Again, it will take some time for some checking and preparation for installation. Meanwhile, I'll show you the current version of my OS and system specifications. Finally, when it is done, it will be ready to install. My current OS is Windows 10 Education, therefore, the installation automatically selects Windows 11 Education for the upgrade. You can keep personal files and apps if you want or you can use the Change What to Keep to change your selection. I am selecting the first option as it is the safest option. It will take a considerable time to install depending on the speed of your hard disk drive and the amount of RAM. Meanwhile, you can grab a coffee and see what's happening. Of course, you can hit the Windows key and jump from the installation window and do something with your PC. But I highly do not recommend doing so. The PC will restart once the file copying is done and keeps on installation. Meanwhile, the PC may restart few times. Now the installation is complete. When you first log in, it will start configuring the environment and it will take few minutes to complete. Now the upgrade is completed. And everything is working fine as you can see.
Very important, if you wish to go back to the previous version, never reset your PC after upgrading or never delete the Windows.old folder in the OS installed partition, probably the C partition. If you do one of them mistakenly, you will not be able to downgrade your OS. You need to fresh install the previous version, which may be a headache to you. Now let's check how to go back to the previous version of Windows. Go to Start, Settings, Windows Updates and Security. Go to the Recovery option in Settings. You can see the Go Back button under Go Back to the previous version of Windows 10 in the Recovery feature. It will ask you the reason to go back to the previous version once you click the Go Back button. You have to enter a reason to continue. Then it will prompt you to install updates. It is important to install updates to fix any issue. But since this is a test run, I am not going to install updates. In the next window, it shows some information. It is very important to read this information to get an idea about the next steps. Once you click on the Go Back to Early Build button, the PC will restart and continue to downgrade. After complete, keep in mind to install all the updates to work properly without any hiccups. Now we shall check how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Windows Updates. Go to Start, Settings, Update and Security. If your PC is eligible to upgrade to Windows 11, it will show you the new updates under Windows Update. Since Windows 11 has not been officially released, I am going to join the Windows Insider program and install it. Please go through my video, How to Become a Windows Insider, for in-depth information on Insider program. Once you join the Insider program, you need to restart the PC, and the latest updates are shown in Windows Update. Install all the updates available.
Meanwhile, you may need to restart the PC to apply updates. And that's all you have to do. The all new Windows 11 installation is complete. That's all for this video. Thank you.